Hi, I'm Louise, the model maker here at Timber Kits. I'm going to show you how to get through some of the trickier stages of building the Stevenson's rocket. The first tricky stage is on page 14, building the pair of pistons. I find it easier if you put these two pieces together, get the holes both running the same, and then separate them like that. And glue them on one at a time while they're still in place. and leave to dry. Then you just glue the top part of the piston on, you glue there and there, pull this back, glue as straight as you can and it should still work and leave to dry. Right, on page 23 you've got to this stage and you've got the handles on, the crank handles on one side and you're about to glue the other side. Turn it around glue around both shaft ends. Glue that on at about that angle. It's not an exact science, although we have mentioned 125 degrees, but it's not vital. Just at about that lean. And carefully place the link arm over the top. And then leave and turn it into the horizontal. And leave to dry for about five minutes so the glue isn't fully dry. And then come back and test turn the handle and they should rotate. But as I say, leave it to dry for about five minutes or so otherwise it will fall apart before you try. Turn the link, not the handle, because the glue is still drying. And just gently rotate it and it should work like that. If you're feeling any kind of resistance, just it might be that the holes in this link arm aren't exactly lining up. You've got a file, file the holes slightly bigger, or just sand those pegs smaller, just insert until you can turn it without any locking. And that's it. Right, next, put some glue, plenty of it. In that hole and then carefully lift and line up the nine millimeter shaft and get the channel running down the center of the large drive wheel. Carefully push it down, test it, no not low enough, there. and there all four wheels working fine. And remember to glue this central shaft Onto there at about a 30 degree angle. It does affect it. You'll find if you push it down horizontal, the wheels won't work at all. If you push it too high, the same thing happens. So just play around with that and just help the wheels move better. Sometimes the uh, engine drops down the shaft too much when you're trying to glue it in place. The best way to get around this is to get it at the height you want and holding it, tip it on its back and let the glue dry a good 10-15 minutes with it like that and then you should be able to bring it forward and test it again and it should have dried in the correct position. Once the rocket is fully dried onto the base you're on page 29 and you're just doing the final part of the piston construction. The glue on one end and then just test by feeding it over the two and do a test turn of the handle there, that looks fine. Now what you might find is it might hit at the top or hit at the bottom. If it's hitting at the top, you need to trim a little bit off the end of that and then re-glue it. Or if it's not going fully down, pull back and lengthen it if it's hitting at the bottom. It's just trial and error and you might have a bit of fun on both sides, but eventually you'll get them both working. When you get to page 30 you need to construct the funnel. Now there's a bit of a trick to help you with that. Push this part through, glue on the bottom, glue there, and then look down and line the parallel that so it's parallel with the front face of that. 
and then leave to dry. Push that there. Once you've allowed the first part to dry, put some more glue on the face of that and the third part you need to put the angle the flat face is not glued at the angle and then again just look down and twist it until the face becomes parallel with that part at the top and gently lay down and leave to dry. Gluing the full along can be fun and it was really helpful if you had some super glue. Put a bit of the normal glue on first and they react well together. And a drop of super glue. Then just line up near the bottom, up down, make sure you've got it straight. And I'm afraid you just have to sit there for a couple of minutes holding it. There's no easy way.